optimized battery charging. It's pretty good concept to improve the battery life. And who is this for? For a nine to five workers or regular office time employees, this is going to work and your phone will be ready with a hundred percent battery charge before you go to office. What will you do if you have a different work schedule or you're not able to charge your phone every day on the same time? Is there any solution for that? Let's check it out. So Apple introduced this optimized battery charging to improve the battery life of your iPhone. This is the deal. You are supposed to charge your phone every day, say 10 p.m. or 9 p.m. when you go to bed and disconnect the phone from your charger in the morning, maybe 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. Then iPhone will gradually learn this pattern and it will start to optimize the charging of your iPhone battery to improve the battery life. That's the concept of optimized battery charging. So if you have a new iPhone and if you haven't seen that optimized battery charging yet, just be patient. It will take few days or few weeks to learn your iPhone, your charging pattern and eventually it will cop up with that charging pattern and create a optimized battery charging schedule for your iPhone. So it depends on each person and their charging time and the behavior. So once iPhone learn from your charging pattern and it's ready to start the optimized battery charging, you will get a notification like this. That means your iPhone is learned your pattern and it's ready to work with the optimized battery charging. So once you start working and when you check your battery status on the next day morning, you can see a pattern of charging here. There is a battery charging symbol underneath this graph and you can see that from the beginning, the phone will charge immediately until it reach almost 80% of the battery power. Then it will stay on that 80% of battery power for rest of night or couple of hours. Then it will charge again from that 80% to 100% in the last few hours before you remove your iPhone from the charger. So iPhone already learned your pattern and it knows when you are going to remove the iPhone from the charger and it knows when you are going to connect the iPhone back to charger every day. If you have a different shift and if you are not able to charge the phone on same time every day, is that going to work in that case? Definitely not. So is there any other flexible solution to make sure that your iPhone will charge up to 85% whenever you connect your charger? You can manually disconnect the charger when the phone reaches 80%. But is there any way to automate that? By default, there is no automation working that way at this moment with your iPhone. There is a workaround to cut off your charger when your iPhone battery reaches to 80 or 85%, no matter what time you connect your charger to your iPhone. You can create a personal automation on your phone to achieve this thing. And in addition to your phone, you may need an additional wall plug that works with the HomeKit. So I have one Mero smart plug here that can work with your HomeKit. In this setup, you are connecting an iPhone charger to this Mero smart plug. And the smart plug can turn off your iPhone charger when it reaches to 80% of the battery. Let's see how to do that. When you open your iPhone shortcuts, you can see an automation and go to the automation and create a new one for you. Tap on the create personal automation over there. And here there is an option battery level where you can select the battery level by sliding this window here. And I'm going to select around 85% for my battery. From the checkbox, I'm going to select rise above 85%. Tap on next. Now when the iPhone battery reaches 85%, I have to control my smart plug. Tap on add action and go for home and control my home and scene and selection. Select the plug that you want to control here. I already renamed the smart plug as iPhone charger. Tap on it. Tap on next and make sure you want to turn it off or turn it on. In this case, when my iPhone battery reached to 85%, I have to turn it off. With this automation, when my iPhone battery reached to 85%, it will automatically cut off the smart plug and my charger. Before you finish it, you can disable this ask before running. And if you want, you can notify when run. When your iPhone battery reached to 85%, it will automatically cut off the charger. 
iPhone battery reach 85%, disconnecting the charger. There is an another automation if you are interested, you can turn on this same smart plug when you reach your iPhone battery to 15%. Even though your iPhone is with you and if it reaches to a 15%, your smart plug will turn on back and it will be ready to charge your iPhone when you connect it. Now we have a solution and the last question before I end up this video, is this a big deal? Do you really need to bother about this iPhone battery charging? Typically the iPhone battery life is 300 to 400 full cycles. That means you have to charge your battery up to 100% and the iPhone battery can survive up to 300 to 400 cycles. And you may see a warning to replace the battery when the battery life reaches to below 70%. I'm so surprised to see that when I contact Apple store to replace my pretty old iPhone 7 and I have an iPhone 11, they charge 49 bucks including the labor and battery for replacing iPhone 7 and for iPhone 11 they charge $69 including the labor and battery. I would say after 2 to 3 years you have to spend an additional $69 for your iPhone. That's pretty reasonable. In my personal opinion that's not a big deal and you don't need to bother too much about this optimized battery charging. If you are not in a 9 to 5 work schedule or if you don't have a regular pattern to charge your iPhone you can use this workaround that we mentioned before. Otherwise, just turn this optimizer battery charging option on and don't bother too much about it. So what do you think about this optimizer battery charging? Are you really worried about it? Don't forget to share your thoughts below the comments of this video. And if you already bought iPhone 14, check the best iPhone 14 tips here. And for AirPod Pro 2 users, we have shared a couple of tips for new AirPod Pro users. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and we will see you on another video soon.